So, uh, I'm thinking 35. Seems high to me. Uh, that's a fair price for quality like this. I'll give you 30. <laughs> what? I thought you were joking. Who am I dealing with here, Eddie? Him or you? Make you relax. Now, if things move forward with Gorski, he lets us into Philly, then maybe I cut you a break. You cut me a break now, or maybe you don't get with Gorski. Marco, I thought we had an understanding. Whoa, whoa. Tommy, don't be stupid. Put the gun down. First, he shows you some respect. All right, yeah, you sh just listen to your boss, all right, moron? Shut up. Just relax, buddy. What the hell are you thinking? I didn't shoot him! Are you sure? Look at him, he's face down on the pavement! I know myself in the foot! God! God. I don't think he's hit. Well, then what happened? Let's get out of here! Come on, Mickey, wake up! Mickey! Wake up! We almost done here. Assuming you did this shaving your forehead. Okay then, I'm ordering a head CT. No, I don't have a headache. I'm not dizzy. Eddie, I gotta get back. You, you gotta stay here. We'll straighten out that mess with Marco tomorrow. Let the doc do his job. Actually, stitching you up is really the ER doc's job. Yeah. Too long of a wait. Yeah, also a lot of cops in the ER. Not that you care about that. So how did this happen? Yeah, you're right. It's a stupid question. It's the answer is kind of obvious. Those scrapes on your hands means you didn't try to break your fall. It means either out cold or totally disoriented when you went down. No sign of trauma other than the cut means no one hit you in the head. Powder burn on your jacket sleeve means someone shot a gun. All right, Eddie. Come on, let's go. I don't care what you guys are into. If you don't get this checked out, it'll happen again. What will? This.